guys and welcome back to my channel um today i'm gonna film my christmas experience for you guys and yeah i'm just gonna get straight into the story i'm not even gonna give you an introduction or anything get straight into the story bam 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 get it over and done so basically i thought i'd share about i thought i'd share story about my one of my most memorable christmases and it's christmas is soon approaching so I thought I'd share a funny story about my memorable Christmases. As most of you guys know, or if you don't know, um, I'm Ivorian, Ivory Coast, boop, 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 rapping. And there's another side to me, but those that other side don't really claim me. But Ivorian, whoop, 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 whoop. So, like, Christmas time, we have like the normal Ivorian. Well, we have normal Christmas. Well, I believe we had normal Christmas like my family tradition is Christmas Eve we go to church we're Catholic so we go and see we go and see the nativity get all hyped and then midnight mass and then silent night and then you know the organist plays them sick tunes on the organ like if you're Catholic you know but your organist is live like plays them tunes but yeah so that's what normally happens in my, in my house in my house then we have family come over and everybody brings food over so this this, this specific year right i don't remember how it was a few years ago right everybody came over we're eating enjoying our food and everything like there was like i've always like grilled food so there's always like grilled chicken grilled turkey grilled fish anything grilled i've always loved like, grilled fish and all of that stuff like that's our thing so that year we had like fried plantain like fried plantain and fried it's fried plant yeah fried plantain and fried jam are like the essentials and like other foods like hatiki all of those are essential food like you can't go to an ivory and party and not have a local hatiki like that party is basically dead but that's like the essentials so we had the essentials in my household like I had everything at local hatiki pima sauce futu blackali those are basically survival of food. Like we had we eat fufu as well, but we call it futu. So yeah. So this specific year, right, we had all the food on the table and everything. There's because me, I look forward to Christmas food because I've reached an age where nobody tries to surprise me. They just tell me what present I'm getting, or I just ask what I want and they just give it to me. So I look forward to going to church and eating on Christmas. So me and my cousin, right, we all came in the house, came in the kitchen, right, all serving ourselves, proper eating and everything, proper enjoying our food. But for us, right, we had solid meals. We had a solid meal. For us, it was like, oh yeah, this is starter, or this is warm up to the actual proper turkey, like the white turkey. You know, you've got the turkey, the cranberry sauce, the roast for eight, roast potatoes, the roast potatoes, the vegetables, and all of that, and gravy and all of that jazz so i don't know what demon possessed me that day but i was like you know i was like yeah i'm gonna have my eat my warm food as warm up and then wait for my christmas dinner so an hour goes by two hours goes by when me and my cousin you know we're playing Wii and stuff like i am the Wii champion in my household when it comes to mario tennis just just saying that out if anybody wants to challenge me let me know i'll come through with my own wii remote and we will battle this out but yeah we were playing wii tennis right and then like you know it's getting dark and we're like we go in the kitchen eat more food like in between we're just snacking and just you know eating so evening time comes and then our auntie was there she was just you know i've worn auntie's like normal aunties they're just in the sofa they finished eating got a toothpick trying to get the meat out their teeth watching like Ivor and drama so like probably like my family or anything like that that's like typical or they're watching the news or whatever else it is that they watch so yeah well everybody was at home just chilling aunties were chilling mum and dad chilling uncles and aunties all chilling discussing listening to music dancing some of the uncles are there discussing politics typical so me and my cousin come in right and we're like hey auntie when are we having christmas dinner like where's the turkey She's like, hey, come on, sir, where's the turkey? Meaning, what do you mean, where's the turkey? And we're like, auntie, where's the turkey? She's like, come on, sir, where's the turkey? Was it, was it, where's your turkey, la? And she's like, well, you've eaten the turkey. It's like, no, auntie. We're like, no, auntie. We haven't eaten the turkey, and she, and she was like, yeah, you've eaten it. She's like, we've eaten the turkey, la, come on, sir, we've eaten the turkey, la. 
And I'm like, Auntie, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean, what do you mean? I haven't eaten any turkey. I didn't even know where this turkey's at. Like, where are you at? Bring it out, because I don't remember eating a turkey. She's like, Como ça vous avez pas mangé turkey là? Turkey était dans la sauce. Sauce gombo que vous avez mangé à placali là. Turkey était dedans. Meaning, let me just translate that for you guys. Like, I was just so shocked. She basically said to us that the turkey was in the stew. We had the turkey in the stew. <laughs> we had the turkey in the stew. Like, the turkey we were looking forward to eating in the big was in the stew. And we were like, no, 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 auntie, seriously. Where's the turkey? And she's like, I, 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 turkey, la, say, tita dans le stew, la, le truc, la. What am I even, I'm thinking for English. And she was like, yeah, turkey, tita dans sauce gombo, la. Everybody knows okra is my favorite thing. We had okra this Christmas as well. She was like, yeah, the turkey was in the okra. And I was like, aye, da, da. Like, I don't even know why I believed. That I means auntie, for all of you wondering. I don't know why this specific year I thought I'm going to be having like a proper white Christmas. Because my family don't ramp like that. Like we had all the good food. Me, I was looking forward to eating a big turkey with roast, pota roast potatoes, getting my Snapchat going. Hey guys, look okay, at the time Snapchat didn't exist. But you know, take them pictures, put on it's poor Facebook or something. Proper looking for, and yeah, I had Instagram, but yeah, yeah, like it was like the first year of Instagram, so yeah, I had Instagram. I go posting my Christmas dinner on Instagram, but she's telling me the turkey was in the shoe. Like, guys, this is the next level of blackness. And she said it with so much confidence. Ah, ah, turkey later dans la sauce, like, t'as pas mangé, vous avez pas mangé ça. No, vous les enfants la même. Translation. What do you mean? You guys ate the turkey. It wasn't a shoe. You kids. Oh, you kids. Me and my cousin were just like, we didn't know what to say. Like, what can you say? The turkey was in the stew. You had that good okra stew. The turkey was in there, love. Like, I don't know. I really don't know what happened to me that day. Like, I was, I, it wasn't like, I was shocked and I found it funny at the same time. Like, I keep saying like, but I never experienced it. Like, legit, I never experienced it. The turkey was in the stew. Till this day, I'm not like this. That Christmas hasn't like, like till like how many years? Probably like five, 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 six years now. And I'm still here thinking about that turkey in the stew during every Christmas period. I'm just not, now. I'm like, is there gonna be turkey in the stew? Like. The turkey was in the stew, guys. The turkey that I ate was in the stew. I never experienced it. I never experienced it. <sighs> but yeah, that's a story I wanted to share with you guys. My little Christmas story about where my turkey ended up. But yeah, I don't know if it's like a typical thing in like African households or so just my auntie so anyway if anyone's i've worn as well and you've had please tell me if i'm not the only person whose auntie put the turkey in the stew but i won't like that okra she banged you know like it banged like personally i don't like turkey it's dry but i do know how auntie made it that year well not that year auntie's food's always always bangs but the way oh and you know when you eat okra it's all like mm, that food you're speaking to my spirit praise the lord hallelujah but it's a shame that I couldn't have a proper white Christmas. I ate that turkey, you know. I ate it good. Like, it went down. And you know when you're full up and then you get a glass of water or whatever juice. For me, it's apple juice. Apple juice. Put my apple juice and you just sit there. And you're just there thinking, oof, round one. That was just, that was my warm-up. Like, that was the warm-up. Always eat the solid food as warm-up, guys. Because, oh, oof, oof. But, yeah. Mmm. I need to get some more cream and I go home for Christmas. But yeah, guys, my turkey was in the stew. So if anything dramatic happens this Christmas, I'll let you guys know anything turkey related or anything in general. So, yeah. My turkey was in the stew. The turkey was in the stew! <laughs> banner, banner, banner.
if you have any funny Christmas stories, please share it with me. I want to know. I don't. I. I. I really. Be I don't believe that. I've. Ugh, ugh, ugh. I really need to stop muddling my words up. I. I don't believe I'm the only person with a crazy Christmas story. Like, if any of you have any crazy Christmas stories, please let me know. WhatsApp me. Jump in my DMs. Leave a comment below. Just let me know. I want to know. I want to know if somebody has had has had a worse story than mine. So I can laugh at you. Like literally laugh at you. But yeah. Anyways. Thank you for watching. Like. Share. Subscribe. And have a Merry Christmas guys. Don't forget to eat good. Especially if you're a student like me. Like I'm going home to stuff. I'm going home to fill up my belly. Because when I come back to university. Whew. I don't get to eat ivory and food that much. So when I go home. I don't want to eat any chips. Actually I eat Woolies. But in general, when I go home, I just want to eat ivory orange food. No jollof rice for me. I live with I live with like my all my close friends are Ghanaians and Nigerians, so I eat jollof rice all the time in university. But actually, ivory orange jollof bangs as well. You know, it's called we don't call it jollof rice. We call it rio gras. That stuff, you know. If the auntie or for my if the uncle making it for you knows how to make it, ooh, it hits the spot. Mm, perfect. When you get fans of fruit twists. The Lord is good. Eat. Mm. Oh, you can really tell I'm a foodie. But yeah, that's basically it for me today, guys. Thank you. Like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. I want to know your stories. Like, tweet me and everything. So yeah. Thank you. Have a Merry Christmas. I've said that already. Happy New Year if I don't post a video before New Year. And just make sure you eat good, guys. So, yeah. Bye. <laughs>